fact, my wife likes to make fun of me and say, you know what, I can kick your ass in, in abs. She says it all the time. If we do ab exercises together, my wife kicks my ass. Not lying. Hey there, Coach Devin here. So I had a client yesterday come to me and said, Devin, I want to get leaner, I want to be ripped, I want abs. What's the best way to do it? Should I be doing cardio all the time? Should I be doing HIIT training? And he's like, I got to do a lot of core, right? And I was like, actually, no, you don't need to do a lot of core. That's not necessary. But I am going to give you some notes on the easiest way to do this. So we're going to talk about that in about two seconds. Before we get going, hit that like and subscribe down below, uh, and please hit that bell. That bell tells you when I make a new video. The reason I make videos here is because I want to dispel stupid stuff in health and fitness. I have been a trainer now for 28 years. I've been in health and fitness uh, for the whole time, 28 years, and I've owned a gym for 11 years. I know a little bit about health and fitness. Uh, I can help people get lean. That's why I talk about this stuff on my channel is because what I like doing is changing people's bodies and changing people's lives through that. So most of the stuff I talk about is going to be about weight loss and getting lean. That's what I do, that's what I do day in, day out. So you know, it's not about telling you that somehow you, know, you need to lose weight. Look, if, if it fits for you, it fits for you, that's great. But that's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's talk about this. So he was you know, doing a lot of sit-ups. And, uh, and he's like, I shouldn't lift very much weight though, right? Because if I lift weights, it's gonna make me bulky. I'm not gonna get lean. And I was like, actually, not really the case. So, there's three ways, there's three things that come into being leaner. Number one, your food. Your food is a biggie, obviously it is half the battle. If you have a crappy diet, you can, you're never gonna outwork it. You will never outwork that bad diet. It would be nice if you could, but you can't. I've seen people many times over the years tell me I'm just gonna work harder and that is gonna fix all my problems, I won't have to diet. If that was true, that would be great, but you can't. It's not possible. Don't try it. Don't be stupid. It's not workable. You cannot outwork a bad diet, okay? Period. Now, while I'm not gonna touch too much about the diet in here right now, because we're talking about training and, and the best ways to get lean via training, when it comes down to it, guys, with diet, you gotta eat fewer calories than you expend, period. That's what's important if you're looking to get leaner. Leaner means less body fat. Less body fat means you have to be in a caloric negative. Check out one of my other videos if you want a real good breakdown. I've talked about this a million times, but do not eat more calories than you burn or you are not, you're gonna either gain weight or you're gonna stay the same, but you will not lose weight. You have to be in a caloric negative, period. Okay, let's talk about the training side of it. A lot of people think weightlifting not good if you want to get lean. They say, ah, oh, well, I don't want to get bulky. Okay, listen, being bulky is not as easy as you think. <laughs> I have worked a long time to be bigger, right? I've lifted a lot of weights in my life. Over the last, I started working out at 14 years old. I am 48 now, so I'm a long way into exercise. I can tell you I've tried to get big for a long time. It's hard to do. Uh, without massive doses of steroids, you're not going to be a bodybuilder. You're just not. Listen, I can't do it. I've been trying for years. So if I haven't done and not saying that I'm perfect, but what I'm saying is we all have some genetic barriers on how big we can get. You're not about to become huge. You're just not. It's not going to happen. But, this is a huge but, if you want to get lean, you have to lift weights. You have to lift heavier weights. Not like, you know, doing 20, 30 reps. No, you need to lift like, say, somewhere between, you know, 10 and 20 reps, that's your weight, their rep range you need to be in. Why do you even be in that rep range? Well, you wanna build some muscle. It's important, and I'm not getting into the whole, you know, some people are like, you know, they're, I don't know, lifting like three reps. I, this is not about power lifting, it's about getting lean. If you wanna get lean, you need to have some muscle. Growing muscle means you'll burn more fat, period. The best base for you, if you want to get leaner, is grow some muscle, you will burn more fat in your everyday life, and the muscle shows better. Look, when we think of someone who's lean, we don't think of somebody who's like this big around, right? You see somebody who's, who has some muscle but is lean. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for somebody who's jacked, who's a bodybuilder, who's you know, 290 pounds or 220 pounds. We're thinking somebody who's, who's slimmer, right, but has muscle. That is the look most people are looking for. So if you wanna be lean, 
You need to have some muscle. That means lifting weights. You have to lift weights. Minimum three days a week, you have to lift some weights. When you're lifting the weights, it can't be easy. That last couple reps have to be hard. If those last couple reps are easy, you're doing it wrong, you need more weight. If the last few reps are easy, you're doing it wrong, up the weight. Don't be lazy. You have to push yourself outside of your comfort zones. It has to be harder. Don't do the same thing every day. Don't do the same weight every day. It doesn't work. All right, so that is the weightlifting side of it. Weights, very important. Three to four times a week, every single week, you got to lift weights. I'm not talking for an hour, but I am saying you do need to lift weights. And somewhere between that 10 to 20 rep range, I would prefer you were on the lower end of it. So you're saying really more of a 10 to 12, 15 rep range. That's where I'd like you to be. That's where you're gonna burn some, you're gonna grow some muscle and that is important. You wanna grow some muscle. All right, cardio side of it. Do you need hours of cardio? No, 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 no. You need some cardio. The question is, do you wanna go super slow, steady state cardio for an hour? Or do you wanna bust your ass for 25 minutes? Now, the two of them don't really change a whole hell of a lot. One of them is gonna burn the, basically the same number of calories as the other one because one is so slow and you're dragging your feet and you're doing it for an hour and you burn 400 calories or you do it for 25 minutes and you burn 400 calories or 350 whatever it happens to be right they're basically the same and you can do it in less time i'm a big fan of less time why am i a big fan of less time because we're all busy we all got shit to do do you have an hour to sit on a bike or on a treadmill or on a rower or what you know, you, you don't have time for that stuff. You just don't. So if you don't have time for it, do less. I do about 25 minutes of cardio. That's the max. Sometimes 30, once in a while on a weekend when I have the time to do it. Outside of that, I just don't. Look, it just is really simple. I don't have the time. I don't want to put the time in. So instead, I bust my ass in the other time. Just work hard. Does that mean you have to sprint? No. You have to be able to do it, you know, for the entire 20, 25 minutes but it's better to push yourself, be out of breath, get sweaty, that's important. You wanna get that heart rate up. You get the heart rate up, your cardiovascular system is taxed now, you're burning some calories, you're burning less calories, roughly the same number of calories in, in that certain amount of time, in that 25 minutes as compared to 40 minutes or 45 minutes, that's what you want. Bang for your buck. I'm a big bang for your buck guy. Get on it, bust your ass, get done, move on, hey, live the rest of your life. Okay, so that's weights, it's cardio. The last one, everybody's saying, I gotta do a lot of setups, right? I have to do a lot of setups, right, Devin? Gotta do a lot of crunches. A lot of crunches will help, right? Okay. <laughs> everybody has abs, okay? You have abs and I have abs. Some people's abs you can see. That is because their body fat is lower. That's all it is. Doesn't mean that I have better abs than you or you have better abs than me. It just means that my body fat or your body fat happens to be lower so mine are more visible. Everybody has abs. Everybody has the same, or roughly the same abs because we're all human and that's how we work. Men, women, kids, doesn't matter. You still, still, still have abs. It is what it is. You have them. If you want to see them, you have to be in a caloric negative. Eat more healthy and make sure you're eating fewer calories than you burn off. You need to lift weights. Right, because lifting weights, especially compound exercises like deadlifts, squats, those things are going to work on your core. They're going to make you do some stuff with your core when your core gets stronger. You want to do some cardio to help burn some fat, make your heart strong. Do you need to do abs all day? No, you don't. I'll tell you right now, people are constantly wanting to do all this ab work. I have abs, okay? Uh, I've had abs for a long time. I don't do much core work. In fact, my wife likes to make fun of me and say, you know what, I can kick your ass in, in abs. She says it all the time. If we do ab exercises together, my wife kicks my ass. Not lying. I am not lying. And it's not because she has insane, crazy, ripped to death abs. She's pretty fit. My wife is fit because she's, she's tall and, and thin, right? She's not a very big person. She's like half my size, basically. But she can kick my butt because she likes doing abs. She has done a lot of abs in her life and she enjoys it. I don't do very much abs. I just don't. I don't do much of it because you know what? I do a little bit because in reality, do you want thicker, bigger abs? You don't. You don't. It's just a fact. You don't want your abs to be bigger than they already are. The more work you do on a muscle, the thicker it gets. The thicker it gets, the more it sticks out. You want your stomach sticking out? 
No, you don't. Nobody does. I mean, I think it's a truism. Somebody's going to be on here, oh, Devin, but you said that, you know, look, nobody wants their stomach sticking out, I don't think. So therefore, you don't need to do a bunch of abs. Yes, it's good to do some core work, 100%. Do some planks, do some sit-ups, do some crunches, do some leg lifts. It's okay to do them, but you don't need to do them every day. You don't need to do them five days a week. Do them once or twice in a week. You just want your core to be strong. Then do some compound lifts, squats, back squats, front squats, deadlifts. You will see your core get strong and it will stay strong and you will have abs. So those are the facts about getting and staying lean. That's what they are. You don't need a ton of cardio. You don't need to starve the crap out of yourself. Just being a little bit of a caloric negative and you'll see changes. And lift weights. For the love of God, lift weights. Please lift weights. You'll be happier if you do because it will do good things for you. You have to do it. And the important thing about lifting weights is as we get older, I'm 48 years old, as we get older, we start to lose muscle mass. You don't want to lose your muscle mass because as you lose muscle mass, that means you can't do the things you used to be able to do. If you don't do those things, then when you don't do them, you'll get weaker, bad things happen. So you want to lift weights, lift weights, do some cardio, eat healthy, and don't do a ton of core. And I promise you, You'll get in better shape really fast. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. Most of the videos I make are based on what people ask me and then I post them up. So feel free to ask questions as much as you can. There's no dumb questions. Trust me, I've heard a million and one of them. So post them up down below. Have yourself a great day, an amazing day, everybody. And go fight the awesome.